The grass isn't always greener. In fact, it's kind of a biodiversity nightmare. Let's dive into why ornamental lawns suck in under 60 seconds, starting with the basics. Biodiversity helps us measure the health of a region. So if you have a large variety of insects and other animals, that's an indication the area is healthy. But when you take a large space and replace it with one crop, in this case, the average lawn, you're taking away from the biodiversity that makes the ecosystem healthy. Makes sense? But how did lawns become so popular? The idea of a perfect lawn can be traced back hundreds of years ago to Europe. Basically, it was a way to flaunt wealth. Like, look at all of this land I have to maintain. Anyways, that eventually carried overseas, and in post-war America, America for wealthier white families, the idea of a picket fence lining your own mini estate became a symbol of status. And by 2005, lawns added up to about 49,000 square miles of American land, more than any other crop. That's according to a NASA satellite survey. And in case you haven't noticed, most of America isn't ecologically suited for turf grass. So maintaining it increases greenhouse gases, pollutes ecosystems, wastes water, and harms biodiversity. But the best part is it doesn't have to be this way. Check out part two for ideas on how you can make your lawn more eco-friendly. Because in case you're unaware, 